Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 from JG Games. In this tutorial, we are going to be making a third-person camera that's very useful for vehicles or even third-person RPGs. So this is very basic and it's a beginner-level tutorial. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, stick around. Alright, so in this tutorial we're going to be doing what you saw in the intro. We are going to be making a third person camera using Unity and some basic coding. Now because we're using some basic techniques, this is not going to be like something you would see out of a AAA game. This isn't going to be able to, whenever you rotate, you can move forward in that direction. But this will be able to get you started with making a third person camera because I was really confused. We are actually working on a game right now and I'll release some more info about that later. But we needed a third person camera and so we are actually going to be using that movement script and I'm not going to talk too much about it, it's going to change from time to time. But we're going to be using some of the scripts from there and the script is actually from there. So let's go ahead and jump right in by opening up Unity. I'm going to make Unity full screen and as they have a very simple script here. We have a cube and then we have the prototyping package so that we have this blue background. And so what's gonna ha so what happens is is whenever I move around, then you can see this is how I rotate. You can see that I use the A key and the D key, and that just gets me to rotate. It's a very simple script, but it's more for like this isn't what it, this isn't what you would use for like making a character like a person, but this is what I'm using right now because it's kind of like a vehicle. So let's go ahead. And we'll briefly look at this so we can kind of understand how this works and then we can jump into how we are going to be accomplishing making this. And I accidentally got my developer over here. All right, so I'm not gonna talk too much about this, but basically this is how it works. We're using Euler and so that allows us to rotate it on using the A and the D keys and then this just adds force based on a certain direction if we hit the W key or the S key. And that's not that important but it's always nice to know how we're doing that so that you can see when we get into the camera movement why we're doing this. And the thing that really annoys me about this is that you always have to be looking forward because when I rotate, you can see that it takes so long and this is really hard, especially in a third person environment where you kind of want to move your mouse around and look around the scene. So that's what we're going to be coding today. So let's go ahead and jump right in by creating a new C-sharp script called TPC for third person camera. We're going to call it TPC. And I'm going to double click to open this up in Monitor Develop. And we're just going to get rid of start and update. I like doing this. It just gives you a clean slate. And also I'm not that big of a fan of those comments. So it just gives you a clean slate and it's really, really nice. So first of all, we need an object. Now this is probably an easier version of very simple version so I'm sure there's some way to do this with a ton more code but this is just basics so I guarantee there's going to be some bugs and errors that you run into when making this but I'm going to create a public transform I'm going to call this player now we're going to go down and we're going to go create void update now this if you're new to unity this basically just allows you to um, this happens every frame. So that's why we, we want this to happen every frame. And we're gonna set, use a very simple function to get started by saying transform dot look at camera. I mean, look at player. Not player dot position, just player. And I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna jump back into Unity. And you should see, we're just checking right now to make sure we have no errors and that when we run, nothing fancy happens. So what this basically does is this forces the camera to always look at the player. Now this will be important when we get into rotating it, but for right now, that's fine. And so there are no errors with that so far, so let's go ahead and I'm going to scroll down in my notes so that I can see the rest of the script. Alright, so this is a pretty complex function we are about to use, but we're actually going to be using another transform function to do transform, it's called transform.rotate around. And basically what it does is it takes a point and then it tells it to rotate around an axis and then it gives it a speed variable. So you can use this in a bunch of different ways. You can use it to have like a turntable. That's a really cool thing to do. I've seen a bunch of people do it that way. But we're actually going to be using the mouse position to dictate where this is going to go. So let's go ahead and write out this code and then I'll talk about it a bit more after that. So it's just transform dot rotate 
around. And now when I do this, you'll see we have our little help tool. We have a point, an axis, and an angle. Um, the angle is not that important, but that's kind of like your speed, I guess. And so that's like the, where the camera is when rotating around. And so we're just going to be using this, but we also need a few variables. Before we get started, we need public float x max, and then we need public float y max. This just helps us figure out our rotation because that angle, I forgot, um, it's not speed, my bad. Angle is more like where it stops or slows down. And that's a really nice thing. So you can set that to 180 and then it should just go all the way around. But because we have this, now we can control how far a player can look left and right before it just gets bumped with it and how far you can look up and down. And so now we, and this is, I guess, in, I guess, uh, it's more, in our case, this is like sensitivity. And so you could call this X sense or Y sense. I just call it X max and Y max just because it makes sense for me. But you can do what you want. So the first thing we need is a point for this camera to rotate around. And that obviously would be the player's position. So we're going to say player bleh, dot position. And we're going to hit comma. Now we need an axis. This confused me when I was getting started off. You need to have a vector 3, but it's weird because of the way that it's set up. It's technically just adding force to the camera. So you actually need to use a negative number in order to get the effect you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to say new vector 3. And we are going to say, because this is rotating, this is going to be rotating when we move our mouse left and right across the mouse pad. So... This is so we need to use um, the y axis actually. We don't use the x axis because the x axis would tilt it forwards, down, and up. So that's what we're going to be using next when we copy and paste this code and do it again. But we need this to rotate around the y axis. So we're going to say 0f, comma, negative 1f, comma, 0f. Now that just says it gives it a point to rotate around. I use negative one, but I think you can use any number you want. But just to stay safe, just use negative one. It's simple, and it makes sure that you don't, don't have any problems. And then we need to go ahead and get into the angle, how it's going to rotate around. So this is a formula that some guy came up with, and I saw it on the Unity Answers, and it's a really good formula. First of all, you need to get the axis. So we're going to say input dot get axis and we're going to say mouse x so basically what this does is whenever you move your mouse it goes a number between 0 and 1 so if you continue to move your mouse it will stay at 1 but as soon as you let off it does a smooth fade almost to 0 so that whenever you stop moving your mouse it just kind of slows down and that's a really nice thing and using get axis is a great function now we also need to time this by time dot delta time just so that this is what makes sure that this works in our scene and doesn't just go all the way around. So we're gonna use time dot delta time. And then we're also gonna use, sorry, and we're also gonna multiply this by x max. And that should be it. So I'm gonna save this and I'm going to go into Unity and make sure this works. All right, great. I'm gonna go to my main camera and I'm gonna add this script. I did this before, so that's why it's doing that way. TPC, I've already got, I'm going to use 45 and 90 uh, for X max and Y max. And so now you can see that I'm moving my mouse and I'm rotating around. But if I move it up and down, it doesn't do anything. So that's what we're going to do next. And all we're going to do is copy and paste the code and then change a few variables around. We need to change this from to zero and this one to negative one. And we're going to change this to Y. And we're going to change this to Y as well. And now when we jump back into Unity, as soon as it finishes compiling, it'll run. And now we can rotate around our scene. Sorry, my mouse is kind of going off to my second monitor, but you can see that we are rotating around. Now, one of our problems with this, one of my problems with this script was that I couldn't get this to work because it gets really annoying. For some games, this would be fine, like, a third, like an RPG or something. But for a vehicle game, you don't always want that to happen. So we're actually going to add a mode, 
um, a method to where whenever you click a button, you can rotate around the scene, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So what we're going to do is we are going to create some if statements, and I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, cut this out, and I'm going to say if input dot get key get mouse button and I think I used I think I used one that's right click then and I just pasted this code in and I pasted this in I forgot to copy this right there so this should work one of the mouse buttons will do something and so now you can see I added this on purpose so that I can move my mouse like this but then whenever I want to look around I can always do something like that. And that's really cool. I really like that. Being able to just stop. You can. Uh, you don't have to do that. I just kind of like it because it really helps me. Like it gets really annoying if I'm always moving the mouse around. You can see there's a few errors here. Especially when I go off camera. Like right here. It starts. I'm moving my mouse on my second monitor. But it works quite well for being that it's only really like seven, eight lines of code. And so that's basically making a third person, a very, very basic version of a third person camera in Unity. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions down below. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.